Hello everyone, welcome once again. After skipping a week, it's time to draw another animal this time. And it's going to be a, uh, a musk ox from the bovine family, actually bovid family. There's a difference between bovids and bovines, but I'm going to leave that to you to the, for you to look up. Not going to explain it right now. Now, bovids, to uh, tell you a little something, are those animals that are rather familiar with us as goes um, ungulates because uh, they include such animals, such luminaries as um, sheep, goats, cattle, antelopes, and their many relatives. And the animal I am drawing right now, like I said before, is a musk ox. A musk oxen happen to be the biggest, well, well yes, the biggest sheep or goats around and they are not actually oxen as anyone somewhat familiar with somewhat familiar with musk, musk oxen theoretically at least will probably know anyways these musk oxen have got bosses as they are called which means cornified skin very hard on top of their heads that actually connects their horns um, on the top of their heads, like I said. So, here we go. Musk oxen living in rather cold environment, environments, to say the least, have also got a rather prominent um, fur, a woolly coat, actually. So, I'm going to show you that later, but first we're drawing the muzzle, which also has quite a bit of hair, but not quite as much as uh, the rest of the body. Now, note when you are drawing a musk ox, as you might do, that the ears are actually behind the bosses. You might expect them to be in front of them, but they're not. They're right here. So you should be showing this in your picture. That means the back of the head is also behind the bosses and not in front. As or covered by them, as you might otherwise expect. Now, musk oxen have also got a very prominent hump on the shoulders, so let's draw that here. I'm letting the hair stand out in different directions to make it look a bit more rugged and to emphasize their uh, hairiness. The rest of the coat should also be visible here. Then there's the shaggy coat that covers the rest of the body. The coat also helps the musk oxen look quite a bit bigger than it actually is. Even though, make no mistake, these are still sizable animals and impressive at that. They're not actually as big as their coat might uh, suggest. The legs come from beneath the coat and are not covered in the same long uh, fur. So that should not be visible in your drawing either. Of course, there are hooves which are rather splayed in this species, helping them stand on difficult terrain such as snowy grounds and the like, ice. The back is short. Here we go. Now, keep in mind that even though most of the features of the body get obscured beneath the coat, there is still some suggestion of legs as well as of uh, a rump. So make sure that it doesn't look too uniform. Also keep in mind that we are sticking to body lines. So make sure your coat when drawing it follows the contours of the body otherwise it just looks weird now here's the last leg we can see the other leg is behind the hippo the pygmy hippo here we go so let's give the face some markings too not too much not too many because otherwise you obscure parts of it and here we go I hope you enjoyed here, uh, you see how you can draw a musk ox.
Bye.